Hey guys, it's Becky. If you're new here, then welcome. And if you're already a subscriber, thanks for coming back. So it is officially planner season and I have been waiting for a few bits to come in to, to do this video because I just wanted to come back get um my 2025 planner lineup out the way have a chat to you guys and all that about everything that's been going on so i'm going to do a little haul first it's kind of like 2022 planner haul kind of thing but i thought i would do the haul for you guys uh and then we will get on to the planners so per per <laughs> Firstly, I've got this little gorgeous packet from Stylish and Minimal Co, who does um, tabs and, well, she does loads of stuff on her website. And it's packaged in this gorgeous pink little organza bag. So let's have a look at these, because I think these um, are some freebies, because I don't think I ordered these. So first up, up, first up, we've got these this little freebie here it's an october one it says it's hobonichi season You've got a monday through sunday and some little corners and dots there and then next up we have the same but for august oh okay oh no these are september so 2nd to 8th 9th to 15th obviously september's gone now but that's cool that's cute and then what have we got here we've got some like ladies kind of outline drawing of ladies and things there and then we've got this tiny tiny sticker that ooh, that says payday on it so they're the freebies and then what i purchased are tabs i love tablet tablets jeez guys i love tabs and i have found that um in all the time that I've been planning that you need to have like decent durable tabs because if you don't then they're not going to last the whole of um, the year in your planner and what she's done is she's included these hold on let me show you okay so first off we've got 2025 month calendars that's really cool and then she has put on these um they sh they show you how to lay your tabs out so this one is for circle hobonichi week sticker tab placement guide so i got these so you don't have to use them for um for the hobonichi weeks you can use them for anything and they have so here's january so it says I don't know if this is focusing or not it says number one and then round the outside bit it's got january and then it's just got her sticky months to coat on the other i would have preferred to have it on both sides but and these are really durable um clear sticker there so they're the circle ones for the hobonichi weeks um spoiler i haven't got hobonichi weeks so and these ones are for a standard tn and again you've got your placement marker so you just literally put them on these tabs and they will line up perfectly and i've gone for a um like a beige color in these again they're only on the one side the only the first one's got the stylish and minimal um coat on there and it goes to december and then we've got notes and travel as well which a bit random to have travel but Got notes and travel on that again that's the standard and then this is the cousin and again we've got the tab placements this is a bit of a lighter beige to the other one um which i really like and on this one we have the january all the way to december and we've got notes finance weekly monthly lists and trackers and what you can do with these is stick them on top of a reusable um sticker and you can move them along with whatever you decide what like whatever the day is or the month is or the week is which i like so those are my tabs from stylish and minimal co next i did an order with poi and hun i have already got this acrylic holder from poi and hun yeah it's on the back um, and these calendar cards are from Poi and Hun and they magnetically just sit in this little front bit. It's so, so cool. Obviously, I need to change change my months, which at the minute I'm just keeping them in here. 
so let's get October out because we is in October and then you just like line it up as straight as you can and then yeah you just oh wrong way around and then you just boom done Bob's your uncle funny giraffe so because I've oh because I've already got this I obviously needed some 2025 things to use with it and then I just bought a few little extra bits and bobs from the sale so in this we've got this gorgeous really thin like to do place marker and then I've got this gorgeous card which just says 2025 and then I did buy some post-its so I bought a list of to do so literally just write your list and tick it off and then I've also got a this week one because I'm forever using which ones is it that I use I've got tracker this month I've got this week I've got one which is just blank and I end up writing Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday down so I thought having one that's already written is really cool and then I've also got the replacement cards that I've just shown you so this is the 2025 selection and then we've got this thank you card and it's also a 2025 uh, calendar and then I just bought another one of these little um, card holder things so they do come sectioned off I think there's six sections and I think I'm just going to put like small stickers in here that I use quite often so that it's easy just to grab a sticker and go so that's what I got from Poi and Hun and then next up it wouldn't be a new year haul if I didn't do a cheeky little number from the Coffee Monster Co and I did buy more tabs because I'm the kind of person I like to tab my weeklies, my monthlies, my dailies. I like to tab. Oh, I can't get it out of this little baggie. Right, here we go. So this is the journaling card. Warning, cute stuff inside. And then you just collect the beans. So let's have a look. So first off, I've got the mini monthly tabs in grey. And I've got them in latte. And we do have the extra yearly, weekly, monthly one. So grey and latte. And then I also have them in, this is like a really, really light grey. But it's like, look, it's a lot smaller script than there. So I've got those in their blank slate. And then the freebie that I got is this one. And then I did get a couple of sheets. I have used a couple on here as well already. This is the suitcase emojis because me and Chris have been going away in his new van and then we're due to go on holiday as well at the end of the year. So I got those. And then I got these. Uh, no time to write. No time to write just for when I do my journaling. And I've obviously got nothing to write or no time to write. And then I did pick up some of her seals as well. These are the ones that were available when um, I did my order. I'm sure she's got some newer ones in. But this is just like a 2025 one. And then I've got two this planner belongs to. And... I've got two of these May the 4th because my son Loki was born on May the 4th and it's kind of like May the 4th be with you. So I got two of those and then I got this little green um, notebook thing because I have got, because I bought it from a D stash, I have got the little pocket Loistrum that um, that's that that's made of so I just thought oh I want that and then I had these before I've got an I am important I am capable I've also got I'm allowed to ask for help and then a couple more 2025s so I've got three 2025s there so yeah that is my little coffee monster co order and then another thing which i ordered as well i'm not sure if i will use it on the planners or what but these belt seals they're actually from midori and i bought them from suteti stickers 
and that's her handle there and these are good to sh keep planners shut and things like that i've got one on so this is a hobonichi photo album and i've got one of these belt seals on here to keep this shut because i've filled it with loads of character stickers so that just keeps it shut for me so that is all of the i'd say 2025 uh, things that I bought for my planners I'm going to try and keep them all nicely together out the way so that I can so that I can um, get them out when I need them when I start doing my planner setups right planners 2025 planners what is she doing so I have gone quite simple really but first off this is um, a very new to me planner the Faded Chronicle, I saw it on Instagram and it intrigued me. So I was like, hmm, I want to have a bit of a look at that in more I detail. to sort the lighting out a bit and um, take everything out of its packaging. So this is the gorgeous little bag that it comes in, absolutely stunning. This is the planner. You also get a cover with it. It's a really, really thick, nice cover with pockets. And then I also got this... Uh, washy sheet of stickers so you've got one two three four five six seven weeks worth there and then we've got a couple of months worth of stickers here this is a six month planner so it only holds six months in it but let's have a little look look see at the inside of this planner shall we so on the front it just says the chronicle notebook undated edition and it says the chronicle notebook in gold foil on the side and again designed by faded chronicle and then you open it up it is a tomo river paper planner so we have two blank pieces there we've got this page that always sticks to this page and then we have a nice monthly layout here and then some lines at the bottom here one thing that i will note say that i noticed straight off in this planner is you can see through it massively you can massively see through to the other side so i don't know what it's going to be like um when it comes to bleeding or ghosting with pens but straight after you've got this like monthly overview you've got another monthly overview with a monthly overview there some lines and like a, a box there and then straight after that, you've got the rest of the bumps. And then we come to this page. So how she uses this page is she does this side as like a cover page. And then on this side, which is what got me, I thought it was really, really cool. We've got like an inbox and then you've got one two three four five so if you like doing the getting things done method or anything like that you could use these for anything you want anyway and then you've got like a thicker dark line down this side and that says completed so at the beginning of every month you're getting this inbox and you could just literally write down everything in your inbox and then you can use these columns so i would use it for um i'm trying to think of the getting things done method now like um if it needs to go in a calendar, if it's an errand, if it's um, you've like assigned it to somebody else. Um, sorry, my mind's gone blank, but you can use these columns to, to like mark off where it needs to go within your planner. So we've got that inbox. So you have your monthly cover page, your monthly inbox, and then you get a, a monthly page, like a monthly overview. So in this top corner here, you've just got a box. This corner here you've got the same box but you've got goals and then you've got four lines and things to remember and you've got four lines and then you have got just shaded out at the top where you put your days um i'm wondering if that's what these are for one two three four five six seven only seven weeks though but you can put your days there and then number it is completely blank and it's good to go so that'll be your monthly calendar straight after your monthly calendar these are the weekly pages so on the left hand side you have a box which says important date and appointments so you can put important dates there appointments there whichever way you want to use it and then you've got these boxes here and you've got two four six seven and then the bottom one says 
upcoming which you can change you can put a sticker over that or whatever so you've got like monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday and then you've got an extra box there for upcoming or whatever and then on the right hand side you've got the top date and then you've got expenses and amount um i would use this as like a a a waiting on list kind of thing but again you can change these titles to anything that you want to change them to because i in my um last year i used the um when i go into more detail later about what i'm using each plan for but last year i used the um what's it called the paper test designs one let me just get you see like here um these tiny tiny stickers are from the graceful muse papery and these will fit over these titles really really easy so don't get bogged down but i just didn't think that any other plan was like this like this has one for tasks and it's got like a checklist there and a checklist there so you've got two columns for that and then this whole bottom box here says notes and then straight after the week you've got one two three four blank pages okay so you've got four blank pages and like i thought why not have seven you know and then it'll be like a whole week's worth i don't know why she didn't do seven she did four which i don't know i don't know i just find it a bit weird but there is one two three four blank pages and then we go to another weekly and then you've got four blank pages and then it will repeat that and i think it does it for five weeks so you might have to like leave a week blank if that month hasn't got a five weeks but then straight after that you've got another monthly covering page and it repeats itself and it does that all the way to the end and then right at the back you get a couple of pages extra at the back only and you've got a contact list name phone numbers addresses two page contact list a personal info and emergency contact so that is an overview of the faded chronicle notebook undated edition like i really really like it it's so soft like i said it does lie flat i am not 100 percent sure how the ghosting is going to be we'll have to do like a pen test on that as well so that's that which is new next up i will go into what i'm going to be using as my main planners and this year guys i have stuck with sterling ink i've just stuck with sterling ink this year because if it ain't broke don't fix it i'm kind of glad i was um and ah in between the cousin the sterling ink the cousin the compact the full year backwards and forwards backwards and forwards and i always i kept going back to the thought you can giveth but you can't taketh away or is that right <laughs> i don't know but it's better to have more pages and have too many than have less pages and not have enough so i went for the four years but firstly this one is the b6 this is not mine first off the mulberry color is absolutely gorgeous and um, chris wanted this one for his planner i bought him a b6 gallon leather cover a couple of years ago and he really really likes it and but then he went down to a, a week's size planner but um he's got a new boss in and the new boss doesn't like computers and things like that going in the meetings so he has to take more notes so when i showed him this one like this size that would fit into i showed him another b6 planner would fit into his thing and he saw that this because this um my husband's in the military and the like the color of the uh, beret that he wears which is like the the i'm not gonna say hat because like you can't say a hat to a military person but like yeah the hat they wear and like the color of what he does is maroon and yeah so this is just absolutely perfect for him he picked to have the gold edges i mean the first planner i got from sterling ink was a b6 and i don't know i like it but I don't know i didn't like i'm thinking should i've got the i love how dark these are this year i don't know what he's going to use these for so the b6 one because everyone's going crazy aren't they because of her pencil boards that she's uh, given everyone so this is gorgeous this scene here and on the back it's got the some the holidays so i'm just gonna like dot on here when the kids are off school so that he's always got he's got that with him i'm gonna do it on this front page here as well but he's gonna use this as like a bookmark because it's it's not girly that it's quite manly and these don't come with bookmarks so that was the only thing he was disappointed about but yeah we've got the monthlies there and then we've got like the normal cover page and then we've got the goals 
yearly tracker priorities like I'm not sure what he'll do with these pages to be honest but um I don't even think he'll use the monthlies but he's got the weeklies so he can literally write down he said he might put a line down and have work one side and kids the other and then obviously he's got this page to take any notes pertinent to that week and then he liked having all of these extra note pages at the back so that when he is in meetings and stuff like that he can take notes so that isn't mine that is his he's been waiting for ages as well i was like it doesn't start until Sorry, having some latte. It doesn't start till next year, so it doesn't matter, does it? So yeah, my two that I picked, oh, da da la, is this gorgeous one in the tweed, and then I got a brown one. I'm not as big of a fan of the pen. I don't mind that one. I really like this deep navy blue, but like this was one of my least favourite kits. It does go with the tweed really, really well. Um, but yeah not a massive massive fan of that one but i am of that one so but she's bringing the ones that she's got to sell as well isn't she and then also when i bought them i got these two little freebies with it as well so those of you that know sterling ink know the layout i do absolutely love one thing i will mention this is completely smooth it is like butter butter soft and if i rub my nail across it there's no markings on it whatsoever pure butter soft these two have more of a texture to them and the texture is pretty much the same and it just feels weird because this one obviously looks like faux false leather like vegan leather or whatever it is that they're um calling it but this one looks like it should feel rough and tweedy but it doesn't it just feels really really nice so i've got the a5 full year common planner and i'm really really excited to jump into this i just want to see i don't know what i'm going to be using that for i haven't decided yet but i know what i'm using everything else for and i can go through that with you so I have got yeah, the horizontal and then all of the pages at the back and then this is the standard size and again I was umming and ahhing horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical and I ended up sticking with the vertical layout with the full year at the back and then one more plan to show you I did show this last year because I did buy it last year but i've decided it's going to come out of its box finally um out of hiding this is a anytime anywhere journal i see these quite a lot all over uh, instagram it does come with a cover because it's a6 but it's that way so and it comes with two covers so one on it one spare it also comes with these um numbers strips one to 31 and then it has some of these pages and some of these pages as well and these important urgent not important i don't really know i don't really know the system all i know is um sorry it's obviously got january to december there and it's got these really tiny i don't know how i would planning that or what i would do and then you just go into this so it's got like a box a line that separates them and then two lines underneath and people just decorate them and then just write like a little bit of gratitude at the bottom here it's got those crosses that the other one has and i think these are like yearly trackers but yeah i thought i'd get this out next year and start doing some gratitude and things right so now i've shown you everything that i've purchased i'm gonna have another bit of coffee i thought we'd go through what i'm going to be using each of the planners for so what i did initially same as what i always do is i wrote down let me find it i wrote down I wrote it somewhere else and then I like neatly wrote it in here but literally what I what planners I wanted so I knew I wanted a functional planner I knew I wanted a memory planner and I knew I wanted a daily planner and a health and well-being planners um 
for those of you who don't know don't follow me on instagram i am going for uh, weight loss surgery i'm going to have the gastric bypass in november the uh, beginning of november it has been something that i've been contemplating for a long long time i've tried i'm not going to try and justify myself but i've tried numerous ways of losing weight uh, medication that i'm on and things like that do make it more difficult um, and it, long story short i've just decided that that's what i want to do for me uh, my health is really poor my energy levels are really poor i don't feel like i have any kind of life it's like i literally I can't walk five minutes straight, I can't. I'd get to about two and a half minutes and my back is in, I'm in so much pain. So I knew that health and wellbeing was gonna be a massive thing next year. Um, having this kind of surgery itself is very, um, it changes your whole, this this is one thing that put me on, it changes everything like it makes your stomach like this big like all your eating habits and getting in like the vitamins and the protein and everything that you need i knew that i needed a health and well-being uh, planner and then what i did is i wrote under each of the planners like what what do i need to be functional in that planner what do i want to like mem keep as memory plans what do i want for my daily planner what do i want to include in my health and well-being and then i wrote down some potential planners and literally I wrote down the Faded Chronicle Standard, this is before I bought it, the Sterling Ink Standard in A5, and then um, there's Philo Planning or something on Instagram. She's bought out a B6 size, um, massive chunky planner, it's like this thick and it's got a soft cover. I ordered it straight away. It's She's waiting to receive them and then she's going to ship them out, I don't know what I'm going to use that for. But then I was like, right, I need to then further find out what planner is are those planners going to work for this system that I want? Where am I going to put things? Things like that. Fortunately for me, um, I already, I'm already in a um, I'm already in a where is it? A standard. I'm losing my mind. I'm already in an A5. I'm, it's in front of me. What an idiot! I'm already in a standard size planner, which is a horizontal sterling ink. So I know the layout, like how many squares you've got for this and that and that. So I I knew what was what I was going to be able to get from this, and I also knew what I was going to be able to get from this as well. So yeah what i did is on the website on the faded chronicle she had pictures of each of the pages so i just literally took screenshots of the pages put them on a document printed it out and thought right what can go where is this going to work for me what do i want to use this one for and then i also then wrote down like the a5 everything that is included on the A5, so like the quarterly pages, monthlies, all of that, and I did the same for the horizontal vertical, and wrote down what was gonna go where in there, and then it kind of just evolved from there, and I'm happy with where everything is going. So this is like me filling all that in, saying what's gonna go where. So what I decided in the end is, this uh, planner, the the Chronicle Notebook, the why is that light coming in again? I really said. hope the quality of this video is okay because I'm panicking that it's going to be too bright. Um, yes, so this one I've decided is going to be my functional planner. Um, last year, I did start off the year with the Paper Test Designs, the weekly one, and I absolutely love this planner, but I could never really figure out what to use this section for because it's just and i then when i went into the tns um this is her tn size version of it and i have got another one of these and this is half a year as well and i'm just i'm not I'm thinking that this might be really, really good when it comes to tracking things like with the weight loss and stuff, like my water, my protein, all of that kind of stuff. But, and I do like the functionality of this with all the list options and stuff like that, but I wanted to try something different. And I wanted, I don't want to be as like, um, I will decorate this. Sorry, my camera decided to overheat then. 
I thought I was doing something good by buying a new camera, but obviously I've got a lot of learning to do. So yeah, what I was saying was I don't want to like muddy cuddle all this planner in any way, shape or form. Uh, my plan is to plan forward a month maybe at a time, get things in here so it is functional. Um, I always like, I, I always, because I do YouTube, I also, I need, everything needs to be pretty, everything needs to be Instagram worthy and all that. And it, it just doesn't. And what I love about this planner and what turns me more towards this planner was the four pages uh, in between each of the weekly um, setups because there's more often or not I'll be on a phone call or I'll be doing something and I'll need to take down notes I'll need to write notes and not having anywhere to do that I'm just going into a little drawer next to me I'm just going to pull out a notebook that I have been using obviously it's got loads of stuff on top so it's not easy to get to but I've been using this Have It Right Designs little mini pocket size notebook and every time I need to take some notes or anything like that I literally just scribble in here and I will probably still continue to use that to some aspect but um, I'd like to be able to just do it in the planner that I'm in so if I need to take notes for example I'm going to be using this planner as well for like YouTube as well as functional so my, all my YouTube planning and everything like that will be going in here and if I need to take notes on the video that I'm doing or if I need to you know make sure that I'm tagging a certain video or anything like that I can just scribble the notes down on these four pages I will decorate the pages because I will want them still to look pretty but when it comes to actually being functional I do want it to be as functional as possible so what I decided to do is with all my notebooks, I tend to use this overview page as uh, the, the kids school holiday page. So I will literally just do a little dot with a zig dot or something like that and just annotate when the kids holidays are and any other important dates that I need to remember. This one here, I was thinking I could use this more as a YouTube tracker. So I'd dot, I'd have a key and I would dot um, every upload that I did. So if it's a plan with me or a haul or whatever, and I'd also write my stats in here as well. So that at the end of each month, because you do get these two lots of lines there i would write like if i did a collab that month that was monthly specific and like my monthly stats would go in here as well so this would be um a youtube kind of stats overview page and that's got all the months in even though it's only a six month plan it still has all the months in this is what she used as an example of a cover page on hers and then obviously there is the brain dump after which again I will be using as a brain dump and then I'll decide on what I want to use those columns for there. I don't know what she's used them for but um, there's five spaces there for me and then straight after that is the monthly. This will be my YouTube tracker. Um, so if you've been following me for a while I always have a monthly calendar or when I was in nostalgias I'd just like draw in a monthly calendar and then I mark down in pencil what date what video I want to update upload on what date and then I'll go in in pen after and do that so I will need to set up a good few months in advance for that and then each weekly I will probably do again a couple of weeks or three months out or if it comes to it and I do need to because this is obviously undated and that's my only drawback with this planner unless I go through and date it all which I can do because I have got where is it so on one of the sterling ink planners I did buy her like monthly like her clear date pack and even though it's sterling ink, I reckon I can still, I'm not sure if she still sells these on her website, but I'm looking to see. So I can, they're a bit big. I'm just thinking of like, yeah. So I've got loads of these Monday Tuesdays, so I can use those in predating this planner and I don't know whether I will do that if you can see it does fit pretty perfectly in there I don't know whether I will do that but that's 
like because I don't want to waste stickers by using too many and not finishing out the planner but I do need my functional planner to be dated because if I want to forward like put in a, a date forward <clears throat> I can so I have got that to think about a uh, date in the planner which like I said I probably will do so my monthly is purely going to be YouTube um, let's get back to the monthly youtube and then these will be the weekly overview again i'll probably track my waiting on and things there uh, this tasks thing is actually really good because you can take from your monthly you can take from your monthly inbox and put it directly into here and what i have said as well is if i run out of space on this monthly inbox i will literally just add it onto one of the four pages in between and then just right at the bottom go to page but they're not page numbered either <laughs> which is difficult but yeah so youtube is on the monthlies the weeklies are i will use i think i will use the top as is or if not i might decorate over that and then just write the important things in here the funny thing is when i very first started planning uh, the very first one i was in was like a tn kind of setup back in the day when you used to like really over decorate your tns and things like that and i had like boxes like this as um my weekly overview and i absolutely loved it and that's another thing that drew me to this because i like the boxes i'm not very good with like the horizontal kind of nothing jumps out of me here whereas if it's in boxes and it's just a really quick good overview there and then any tasks and notes and things i can write in there as well and then yeah these are going to be for notes um it's not going to be where i do my rapid login or journaling or anything like that if i want to journal something anything I, i'll probably keep that quite maybe private in this one and doesn't really matter in the other one like this one i want to be something that i can actually like just chuck away it's not something that i'm going to be bothered about keeping at the end of the year it's purely just for functional um yeah so that's what i decided to do in this planner and then at the back i did forget to mention earlier where are they there's some tracking where are they Oh, here we are. Well, so you've got a lot more notes pages than I thought you did. You're getting quite a lot of notes pages, but then you also get so these have like the days of the month at the top, and then you've got a habit, and then you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spaces there, and then you've got goal, and then you get one to 31, and then you've got so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You've got eight of those, so not not just six or 12 you've got eight um but i don't really think i'm going to be tracking anything in this one so yeah this is going to be more of my like functional uh plan with me so any reoccurring events will go in here like the school uh, the kids having like football and brownies and things like that appointments uh my youtube schedule my youtube stats any youtube ideas i'll probably put at the back now i've got all these extra pages at the back my purchases and waiting on will go in here any collaborations pr codes uh, i want to do a pr monthly tracker so i can make sure that i am like uploading for them and receiving stuff brain dump tasks anything like that is all going in this planner here and then my next planner which is going to be we'll do we'll do the a5 so this is going to be my a5 planner um i have i'm going to show you what i'm going to do on my current one um this is just exactly the same it was in the blue i do love this blue uh it's in the blue but this is like a compact and this is a full year and it's not as good of a representation because maybe if i squeeze that right down you can see how smaller a compact is to a full year but we will go through what i'm going to be doing here so what the only difference is 
let me just show you side by side so you open it up and you've got this double page here and then this page that flaps out I just stuck those pages together and I've just got that and then because I did I cover that with that yeah I just stuck on this was from Graceful Me's Paper 8 it's just holidays and key dates of the UK and then this was just a yearly overview that I stuck in and then I completely covered the goals pages which are these pages here and the goal breakdown because I wasn't focusing it in on any goals and then this page I believe is an extra page because it's not in that one unless I covered it but this is a yearly tracker. I'm not really quite sure. I'm thinking, because um, I'm hoping to start doing like daily steps and things like that and exercise uh, after surgery. So I'm thinking this is gonna be a good place to log that because I will wanna keep that as like a memory. Um, so yeah, I am thinking of doing that. And then at the bottom, putting plus or minus what weight I lost during the year. So that's what I plan on doing with that. And then we get to these quarterly pages. And I just want to show you as well, you can see dramatically these highlighted weekends that we don't really get in there. The text and everything, the lines, they're all just a little bit darker, which I do like. It does make it easier to see. So I've decided on these pages here, what I'm going to do on the left side is the beginning of the month photo end of the month photo so I've got before and after and start and end wait I don't know what I'm going to do in the priorities section there I haven't decided yet but I am going to use the right hand side as a daily index because this is going to be my my memory planner so I do want to um you know be able to find out information and things easily and quickly so i've decided to use this as a daily index page my tracking and all things like that will go in my um standard size planner but this one yeah i just wanted to use as some kind of like record log of what's in here i have done i don't know um i did it in another planner i think it was i think it was last year's i think it was the end of this year yeah so i did have the abec didn't i and I was had all good intentions of starting this in July and I just never ended up using it. But as you can see here and what I started to do there, I want to do like a line a day because when I look back at my bullet journals, some of my favourite things to read are my lines a day quickly, um, what we got up to. And I've put in here like big highlights. Um, so yeah that's what I want to continue doing in my memory planner is making sure that I'm decorating and doing my highlights of the day next well the weekly I've got two ways of going at the weekly so I do want some kind of memory plan and things like that so I do like using the sticker kits I did start doing it quite well at the beginning it's just I need to find a better way because nothing pops out so you really have to look at it to see main things that pop out but when I do look back at that I think it's absolutely stunning but I'll show you like this was last week so I used it and I kind of at the end of every day went in and filled it in and stuck a little emoji there emoji how common am I common as muck um so I'm not sure you know whether it'll be full-on sticker spreads or just a simple spread like this because I'm not actually using a planner at the minute I know I'm crazy why would I not be using a planner but I'm not so what I've decided to do instead is I've been using this pad it's a this week pad I think I'm sure it's from the planner spot one of her um think uh, one of her subscriptions uh, but you've got monday through sunday you've got a massive to do and you've got your top three and then i've got just got this post-it note that um, i'm using to track some stuff on and that's what i've been using so i am going to start using my planners don't worry and that's why i wanted to do this because i was sick of like just missing because i wasn't filming it i thought i couldn't plan it and that's the kind of attitude that i want to get away from in 2024 2025 sorry i still want to do youtube and i love youtube and i love filming and planning and things like that but i'm just trying to give myself a little bit of grace and saying to myself like just because you don't have to film it so if you're having a really shit week because that's how you fall behind and things like that just sit down and do something like this really quick um so this will be like a back plan it won't be plan as you go 
I don't think. I mean, we've still got the rest of this year to play with and that's like the good thing about having, you know, the same, I've picked the same planners as I'm currently using because if it ain't, fi it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I'm hoping I'll find my feet a bit more on how I want to use like the weeklies in here and in the standard because it's the weeklies that, um, that I'm struggling with a little bit uh, but I'll talk more about that when we get to the standard so yeah so this is just an example there then how I want my 12 how I want my daily pages to be to use I'm not obviously having an index anymore um because that'll be at the front of the planner but what I do still want to do and I just didn't do January but I did do February and I did do March but I didn't carry it on and I've wrote down what I bought but I didn't carry on and I really really want to do this because I really like looking back at it so this is just like a few photos from the month Fe February was Valentine's I decorated it a bit and it's just I really love it because I can look back and go oh yeah Katie got that and we did this and like Willow was at the dentist and she had to have a tooth out you know main big events I've like really got into TNs and I got uh, a colour calf caddy which I absolutely was obsessed with and the gallon leather and Willow like twisted her knee and I was taking pictures for Instagram that I really really liked and I started doing calligraphy here you know there's just so many things that I can see here that we did and I just really really like it so I'm going to continue with that I do want to do 12 months worth so I left 12 months worth of spaces here that's why there's so many blank spaces and then I did start like a favorite purchases of 2024 there and I did like started did a, w a wish list there ticked in some notes that um Chris had left me on my desk and this was the washi tape shop and this was a letter from Chris before he went away a letter from gorgeous Tony who sold me my BAO like leather box and then I go into just journaling and writing quotes in calligraphy like decorating the daily pages and then just journaling kind of as I go there's no set day some days like this that was all Monday but Tuesday was only that bit um this is where I did my planner lineup for July to December and I did a little mind map there and then planning systems again this is all part of like planning for like planning systems and then yeah so it's like I just want it to be a a good ground for all of memories I will put pictures on these daily pages as well um I just want to like make sure that I'm getting as many memories in here as I can and that's why you know I want to record everything in here like especially to do with my weight loss and things like that and yeah so let me just make sure that I haven't uh, goals 12 pages per month for the photo and highlights one li line a day personal journal um, yeah at the beginning of every month I'll do like a monthly cover page the same as I'm going to do in the Bailey Chronicle notebook I want to do a monthly uh, my resets and my monthly reviews will be coming back and they'll be in here as well because I want to remember you know what were my goals then did I achieve the goals things like that um, I've got back into reading I'm watching like TV series and stuff I want to I want to start you know getting in fact no that's not in here is it is there daily is that no i'm lying i'm lying to you my um i don't am i lying to you i don't know i've been going backwards and forwards with these bloody planners it makes sense to have my resets and everything in here doesn't it but i think i'm putting them in my sterling ink hmm but it would make sense to have them in here as well I don't know we'll see how that goes but yeah this purely memories and I got the full year because like even though I won't be writing in like every day or page a day you know I do want to stick things in and have the ability to do that and like I said earlier you can like you can have to, like you can't well you can add pages but it's better to have too many pages than not enough pages so then going on to my my N1 for my Sterling Ink, it's called N1. Um, Catherine from Sterling Ink calls it N1, but it's just like a standard size planner. 
this is just my little gallon leather cover in there and then I've decided again this will be holidays so it's exactly the same in here I wonder if the yeah so the font's the same it is just a little bit darker in the new planner so monthly holidays let me just see if there's that extra page in here as well actually school holidays will go there then we've got a double spread and then we've got goals yeah and then this page has been added in so we didn't have the yearly tracker before but we have got it now and i haven't planned for that because obviously i've been planning what i'm going to do in this one and this is an extra page so we'll see what we'll use that for but the what i want to do on this um quarterly overview is i tried it a few ways i have tried tracking and then uh, martin made tv has got a channel and she uses this as like a swatch for whatever she's going to use in the monthly and then i tried some different tracking things but basically this is going to be um my um health and well-being planner and like daily rapid login and things like that as we go through so i do want to i do want to monitor my mood here's where i'm going to do my monthly measurements uh, so i've decided to have my measurements like and then i'm going to do neck arm shoulders boobs waist hips quads calves and then i'll do whether it's plus or minus there so i can keep a track of that so that's what's going to go on this side and then here i want to track my mood uh, my energy uh, my sleep and my period so that's what's going to go on those pages and then this it's a bit random because this isn't my functional planner but i want my functional planner to be in here so this is my functional planner and as i said in this one is where i'm going to be doing my youtube planning on the monthlies but i wanted this to be a functional one so i can have this open and the monthly all filled in when i come to set up my weekly i can go just look straight at the week rather than having to like toss backwards and forwards i just thought you know if i have my functional calendar in here then um i don't have to keep like swapping backwards and forwards and all my timed events and kids activities and things like that will be going in here as well so that's what i'm using the monthlies for and then as i was saying earlier i have used the monthlies this was the month that Chris was away, so I used it like a lot. And then I set this up to set it out September and I never did. So I need to do October. I need to get back into it, guys. But this is, for example, what I was thinking when I got this planner. I thought I could do like a dashboard layout with putting in the things that I do want to track in my memory planner. I've got like, sorry, I've got like my routine at the top and i did like a few different variants of this so i've got tasks filming review highlight the reoccurring um ones at the top this is another one that i did this is another one that i did this is one using sterling ink but the thing with this is it's a lot of the information is obviously repetitive from in here because in here i've already got um the weekly the daily events that are going on there i've got tasks there and i've got notes and waiting on there so whatever i would like put in these columns just seem to be counterproductive because i've already got the information else elsewhere so i'm not really sure i think when it actually comes to it and um, this is where i'll be doing uh, I'll do like a dashboard layout like this, I think, but I will need to track uh, things like water, protein, food, all of that kind of stuff, vitamins, when, after I've had my surgery. So after I've had my surgery, which will be in October, I'll still have this like planner. I won't be going into the new one till January. So I'll have this one and then I will know, I was putting a lot of pressure on myself. What am I gonna put on these weeklies? What am I gonna put on these weeklies? I still want to have a space and I'll still be using it 
to have a space for like what I want to go in my memory planner and I probably will use this layout um, I'll continue to use this layout because it works and I like it until I started this I was I'm in an hour and I'm going to start in this straight away now because it is undated and just get in it and then um, maybe a <laughs> Kobe snoring sorry and then like I have got this one as well which um, I've got a brand new one of these as well so if it comes to it I, when I have the surgery but I won't know until I get there and um, I've still got weeks in here that I can use maybe this one will be a, a bit more of a functional one to like track certain things in here that I need to track after surgery and then you know still have these as functional so I'm up in the air about like um what I want to put on the weekly pages in here um, I definitely know that I want to do memory planning in my A5, but you know, if I do get a couple of weeks behind and I'm not gonna care, like I don't want a memory plan that I did some washing, you know, not unless it's like, that's the only thing that I did all day. I just want to put in like the main things that I can put in my planner because I do did find, and I do find that it just gets a bit cluttered. And I think that's what stopped me liking it. Like literally everything I did is like it's it's quite cluttered whereas like if i just focus on the smaller things then it doesn't look as cluttered so um yeah i think like i would as going forward i will do it like a dashboard layout in here and then see how i go like i'm, I'm trying to find a way that i enjoy using it but i just think you get a bit more functionality having the horizontal having the vertical than you do the horizontal because you can do this kind of layout and still have like the days of the week at the top and things like that so then yeah i will be doing a cover page in here so this is one i did for april don't know if i did any others in here I must have done don't know this year has not been the best year for planning for me if i'm completely honest so i'll do a cover page i did write down that my resets and things like that will be in here and maybe i will keep them in here i don't know but here's where i like to just rapid log in the day i just literally write down anything and everything that i've been doing in the day we'll just get wrote written wrote down in here and then i mean look how bad that is and then I will do like calligraphy and things like that and then decorate the pages. I've tipped some pictures in here, all that will stay the same. And then because I'll be using this more as a uh, health and fitness, health and wellbeing planner, there is certain things that I wanna make sure that I am keeping track of in here. And this one is numbered, this planner as well, so it's easier to, to do. I, d I think I will put an index at the front, I'm not 100% sure, but um, on here, so I've got things like non-scale victories, so things that um, I want to be able to do that on non-scale victories basically so silly things like i uh, want to be able to um fit fit on a ride at the theme park um i want to be able to cross my legs like knee to knee kind of thing. little stupid things uh, i want to make sure that i've got my reason why in here uh, so i want to do a weight loss tracker number of pounds so you know like you have the jars and then you just have like loads of different numbers and then you scribble them off as you go i also want a monthly weight loss tracker as well so i can see like over a year period how like my weight i just want to do like different trackers like to show my um to show my what's the word um to show what i've done kind of thing and then hydration vitamins protein meals that all needs to go in here i do want my measurements in here as well and like any blood tests uh, like i said i do want to do my sleep mood period back pain headaches all of that menopause symptoms uh, any date nights family night family time anything like that like i will carry on doing like because this is the planner that pretty much i have open on the daily so i'll use my monthly to set up my functional weekly and then i'll use the week then i'll know like this one will also be um will also be there but i have got i did show this on a different haul i've got two covers which potentially will fit both of these in so i've got this one from motum which is in the undyed leather and then i've got this one here from so journal and this has been extended so there's an option to extend it i mean i don't 
baby my planners so this one like i'm just upset about this front bit it's just all like massively worn and stuff so i've got these two planners and it's always my intention to have so this will be my like functional go-to planner and then this one will be like my daily planner and I'll just put one on the front string, one on the back string, and that closes perfectly like that. So they're my two like planners that I can just take with me all the time. The A5 one, I won't need to take that with me everywhere. That's more of a, like a stay at home planner that you know I can just do memory planning and daily journaling and things like that. And again, if I fall behind, this is a Lauren Phelps Designs TN little sleeve. And the good thing about this is you can add like a book in there and a book in there and a book in there. But um, I'm just gonna, it's, it's, it goes like in between the book and the cover so the string isn't affecting your planner but I'm just going to put these in like I did the last one forgot what I was saying then yeah and they fit fine in there as well with more room which I do like to have you know the covers i have ordered covers for all of these from lauren phelps designs i've ordered them from cute stickers only uh lauren, lauren phelps designs covers do fit a lot of sterling inks new planners oh that's what i was saying that's what i like to do my rapid daily logging in here just one because i like how it looks and two it's then when when i come to do like my memory planning and things like that i've got my daily rapid login in here so it's just easier then to do the look at the rapid login write it down in there and then when it comes to it when i want to do my memory planning and stuff like that it's all going to go in here so that's what i mean with like you're kind of like doing double but in my mind because this is going to be more stickers and you have to get out like your character stickers or your kits and things like that it's easy just to write down the things that you that you want to keep as memories for that day in there so yeah those are the three planners and it's like the first year i think in many years that i haven't done a video saying oh i've got these eight planners or ten planners because i know it's just it's it's you can't keep up with it like some people can and they have planners for certain things and if it wasn't for the fact that i wanted to focus like a lot in on health and well-being i might not have had the three planners i might have stuck with the two but i like the idea of having something functional functional and small like i can put a clear cover on this i can use you know one of these to keep it shut and just chuck this in my handbag this will fit in most of the handbags that i have so i did want something functional i love the standard size so having a standard size planner was just a no-brainer for me i have loved the rapid login and the journaling and things like that in the one that i currently have and then this is yeah i just haven't focused in for the last couple of years on memories and i really want to everyone's growing up so quick that i mean case is 16 case is bloody 16 it's gone so i need to i don't want to like not wonder what willow and loki did and their how they grew up and things like that and then my personal journey for a better me and things like that so yeah that's what i plan on using for 2025 um i hope you've enjoyed this video um, I don't really know anything else that I can mention. The only thing that I will mention is that I didn't go for the Hobonichi Cousin. Um, I might regret it. A lot of people have that have had the Sterling Ink need it dated. So that's why they've gone back to the Hobonichi Cousin. But I just like the freedom of it not being dated. And because, you know, I can just write as little or as often um as i want and it's not dated so you know i find myself 
repeating so whatever I've rapid logged in the day I'll put there um, whereas I can just do that in the sterling ink and then the only thing I'm well I'm not scared about it now because I've decided to just do whatever but obviously the writing space in here is a lot more than what you actually get than in here because this is all taken up with like the bottom washy bit this bit's pretty much taken up with the top so you only end up with a little square in the cousin anyway um yeah i just thought that the way that the the only thing i don't like about the sterling ink is it's um 12 hour clock and not 24 hour clock i think the 24 hour clock is used uh, the majority in the world so i would rather it have been 24 hour being a ex-military and stuff like that but yeah that's it guys that is my 2025 planner lineup uh, once i get my arse in gear and actually start um like planning i've got to figure out i've got to do like a monthly setup i've got to start from the beginning and do a monthly setup set up my calendar and everything like that so i do plan on filming that um i do plan on coming back to youtube and, and filming a lot more for you i just wanted to use this video as kind of like an icebreaker uh, getting me back into it so um i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have give me a thumbs up and i will see you in my next video guys bye